Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, November 1st, National Authors Day. I'm Jaden Rutherford, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ News is sponsored by Brevard Finance for Youth, a registered organization seeking to teach elementary school children about personal finances in order to set them up for a successful financial future. Brevard School Board approved the following extended Fridays as Hurricane Ian Makeup Days, November 4th, November 18th, December 2nd, and January 6th. In addition, the first semester has been extended until January 9th. Now to Keon with a story about Halloween Horror Nights. As Universal Orlando celebrates its 31st year of Halloween Horror Nights, the attraction embraces its namesake with this year's Halloween-themed layout. My experience with Halloween Horror Nights is that it's very scary. I get scared. I sometimes get nightmares. So I've gone to Halloween Horror Nights for the past three years now, and I think this year's the best one because of the weekend house. I thought it was overall a really interesting experience. The houses were, like, really well decorated, and the scare actors were really talented. Students discuss their favorite houses at the park, with the house based off the Halloween Halloween movie franchise being particularly popular. My favorite house was Halloween. I like this one because it was it was just like the movie, like you were walking through the movie. The Halloween music in the background just made it super suspenseful. I don't really get scared in houses because I expect it, so I actually got scared a few times in this house, so that's how I know it was a good house. Students also expressed annoyance with the length of the lines at the park. Definitely waiting in the lines was definitely annoying. It was like super hot out and everything. Least favorite part was probably the lines because they get really long by like 8 o'clock. Halloween Horror Nights is open select days until October 31st from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. For WCTZ News, I've been Kiana Zabadini reporting. Napoleon Bonaparte was a general who came to power following the French Revolution. He became a dictator and his strategic military plans led to the takeover of major parts of Europe. He would later, later die in exile. Um, when the Bonaparte fight was 5'5", five, five, really short, he had a horse and there was an ice cream named after him. Thank you, Keon. This episode of WCTZ News is also sponsored by MB Carol PA. The rules are constantly changing. Get help finding the deductions that matter to you. Congratulations to the following homerooms for winning the flag design competition for their grade. Kempfer's Krakens, Jenny's Geriatrics, Better Call Bramlett, Senora Slamos, Thompson's Top Guns, and Schlanger Things. In addition, congratulations to Schladorn, Orton, and Peterzak's homerooms for winning best overall, funniest, and most artistic flag design, respectively. Thank you to tuning into Today's edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Brevard Finance for Youth and MB Carroll PA. This has been Jaden Rutherford. Have an amazing day, Wildcats. <laughs>